I, I also get involved in um, Twinity. I'm, to, I'm going to just explain my, my week or my days, the last couple of days, J.D., to you right, now. OK. That'll um, take a few years. Well, it? I'll try and do it as quickly as I can, <laughs> and then, we, then okay. we'll, we'll play another track. Well, I'll sort of introduce it and let, let, the, let the situation sink in to you, and then we'll play some music and then maybe come back to it, because I, I, uh, I know some avatars, let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. They have their own life. Mm-hmm. They've existed for a while on Twinity which is a 3D virtual world. And I sort of thought, because I went to um, a talk Tuesday night, I think it was Tuesday night, uh, in the Black Box, here in the Phoenix. By the way, this is Phonic FM, also in the Phoenix, 106.8, www.phonic.fm. So back to my story of the last few few hours. (laughs) Last night, I thought... Well, this SketchUp thing that they refer to, because SketchUp is a... Well, there is a free version of it. I think you can have a more professional version, which costs more money. But there's a, there's a simple version of, of something called SketchUp, which will create a 3D model. And then I discovered that you could import a, th- a SketchUp model and various other models in various formats into Twinity. Now, I have my own beach... On, on Trinity, I hasten to add. Wow. <laughs> Which the Trinity Atlas has placed in, in Northampton. Why, Why Northampton? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Funny place. Funny, especially for a beach. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. It's called Beach for You. And yesterday I found the Sphinx. There is a Google um, warehouse or a warehouse. I'm not sure if it is still owned by Google, but anyway, you can find it through Google. And I found the Sphinx, and I thought the model was compatible with the documentation for Twinity. And um, I imported it, and um, there it was. So my 3D beach now has a very nice Sphinx on it. On a massive scale, it takes up um, two-thirds of the beach, I'd say. Gosh. But in principle, it means that any of the artists who were prepared to let us have the data, now that's a bit of, a, bit of a, um, a difficult set of issues. I'm probably going to take up the whole court of an just explaining what's happened and what I think of it. <laughs> but I shall carry on. We can do experiments with what we can find in the, in the warehouse and import these things into a 3D space. Except for the following problem. Um, This morning, when I went back, I found that I was inside the Sphinx and couldn't get out of it. Uh, Yesterday, the walls were porous. I could walk through them and take a photograph of the Sphinx on the beach and post it onto my blog. But today, you go back to the beach and you're inside the Sphinx and that's all you can see. So uh, that's my situation. Then you woke up, really? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, no I, I, sounds like a very far fetched. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe my story. Um, it's a bit far fetched. It's a bit far fetched. Uh, yes. Well, we know you too <laughs> very well. It's been very far fetched. <laughs> but it's it's quite a good story, isn't it? I'll, I'll tell my story again to the storyteller and see if he can work out what happens next. <laughs> probably can tell you the story much better. He probably can. <laughs> but I think there must be a way of um, removing the Sphinx or moving the Sphinx or starting again. Or maybe somebody who's got an understanding of Twinity and modelling <laughs> schemes and what order to do things... <laughs> <laughs> can phone in on 01392434577 and um, give us give us another clue. I think I'll play JD. I I better play some music and, okay. and we can come back to to all these um, te- technical problems. I think this is the right the right CD player. This is I, th- I hope called Romero's Ghost, and it's by the Azimuth Coordinator. And they're going to be here at the Phoenix on Saturday, Saturday the 24th, between 8 and midnight. (laughs) 